Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, we have all three of the Nexus Escape Inverters, and we're gonna be doing a comparison on all three models to help you understand the differences, especially if you're thinking about upgrading or possibly getting your first Ego Nexus Inverter. So why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, let's take some time and get to know these guys. So we're going to start off with model number and cost. This is a PAD 1500. It is $119. Usually you can find this for 99. This is the new guy, the PAD 1800. It's $99. And here is the beast. And you see that right on the screen. This is the beast PAD 5000. It's $149. Now let's talk about power. This is 150 Watts with no surge rating. The outlet is 120 volt, 1.25 amp. This is 180 watts with a 250 watt surge rating for three seconds. The outlet is 120 volt, 1.5 amp. And here is the beast, 400 watts with an 800 watt surge for one second with an outlet that's 120 volts, 3.3 amps. Love that. Uh, pure sine wave. This is not pure sine wave. These two have a pure sine wave outlet. And what does that mean? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. The easiest way to describe it is when you plug something into an AC outlet in your home. That is the cleanest power you're going to get. Now, when you're plugging something in to a non-pure sine wave outlet, possibly modified sine wave, let's say, you might get a humming noise if you're plugging a fan in. You might get some distortion on your TV or projector. So having a pure sine wave outlet is the closest thing to the power in your home. Highly recommend it. Now, let's take some time and talk about the USB outlets on here. You've got two 12-watt USB A's. You've got one USB A 12-watt here with a 100-watt PowerDirect USB Type-C. Here, you've got an 18-watt USB Type-A port. You've got an 18-watt USB Type-C port. And here is the magic sauce. You ready? This has a 100 watt power direct in and out USB type C. So what does that mean? We did a few videos on this. We couldn't fit it into one video, it would have been too long. So I'm gonna put up some images real quick so you can see some of the videos we did on this. Now, as you can see, we did uh, solar testing with this just to show that you could solar charge a battery. It might take a while because we're able to use this USB type C port. All right. Um, we did pass through charging with this. And we even use this to power a refrigerator with a battery on it. So check out those videos. I'll put some links in the description. But really, really nice unit, I have to say. And when you look at these three units and you talk about pass-through charging, this is the only one that's going to have it. When you talk about solar input capable, this is the only one that can do that. These don't have inputs. They're only outputs. When you put a battery on them, they'll supply power. But this is an in-and-out USB Type-C 100 watts. So it can take 100 watts 
and actually charge a battery. So it's pretty, really cool. This is a very nice unit. They're all compatible with all of the Ego batteries. Let's talk about weight. So this weighs 1.17 pounds or 0 0.53 kilogram. This weighs 1.5 pounds or 0 0.68 kilograms. And this is heavy. Not that bad, though. 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilogram. All three of these, by the way, have a five-year warranty. All right, we're almost done. Let's take a moment now and look at handles, and then which of these actually have lights. So the handle on the PAD 1500, right? Just very simple. Your ventilation in the back, your ventilation in the front. A lot more exposed, honestly, on this one, the first one that they made. And the handle on the PAD 1800. So it's, it's a little tighter, for sure. They made it tighter. You know. You've got a lot more ventilation. So ventilation here. Ventilation there. Ventilation there. There. All right. And then this is the big boy, right? I mean, they put everything into this. So you've got your ventilation here. Your ventilation on the side. Your ventilation in the back. Right? Your handle. So now you've got like clicks. And click in place. All right, so that can be helpful. And then what about lights? Let's uh, turn off the light, create a romantic environment, and show you the lights on these two because the PAD 1500 doesn't have a light. Now, before I put the lights on to show you the lights on the 1800 and the 5000, one thing that you see right off the bat is when you slide your battery on the 1500 or the 1800. Obviously you've got your battery gauge, right? But you can't see your battery gauge and have all your controls in front of you, like your, your ports and stuff like that. So one thing they did on the 5000, the PAD 5000, which is really nice, is you slide your battery onto the unit one it locks in place and has a release button right you pop that out the other thing is when you actually turn it on you see your battery gauge so you know where you're at it's not on the other side and you've got your usb right your usb c you got your light you have everything in front of you your outlet so really nice layout now let's go ahead and check out the lights real quick on the 1800 and the 5000 all right, I turned off the lights as much as I could. I created that romantic environment for us. Here is, by the way, the PAD uh, 1500 doesn't have a light. So we'll start off with the PAD 1800, the new model that just launched. 180 watt, let's slide the battery on. All right, real, real easy. And you'll see here that you've got uh, one setting. So that's gonna be low. That's going to be high. If you hold it, it'll do a strobe. All right. Now let's put it on high and just kind of aim it to the wall because then we'll compare the PAD 5000. So as you can see here, it's all right. It's not bad. Putting some light on Brooklyn back there. All right. Now let's check out the PAD 5000. All right. Take the battery. Put it on, locks in place, right? You've got that release there. And your light is right here, but it's in the front. So we have to first turn the power on on the unit. 
All right. Now the light will work. So again, low, high, hold it for a moment, let go. You now have strobe. Now let's put it on low, facing the wall for a moment. All right, high. That's a lot, right? That's, that's really a huge difference. And that is the comparison of the lights. All right, so if you want to see the videos that I did on this one, I'll put the images back up real quick and I'll put the links in the description if you want to check those out. But I sure hope you found this video helpful in some way. And if you did, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. By the way, if you want to follow us on social media, right up top, you can follow us on social media. You can check out our new Tesla channel. And we're starting to do some accessory reviews, but we're also going to do some videos on how do you go from a gas car to a Tesla. We're working on those. And if you want to subscribe to Tech Made Easy, well, just click on that round circle there on the left-hand side that says Tech Made Easy and join the family. We'd love to have you. And on the right side, I'll include a box of PowerStation videos. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great day.